Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swears by time. Time is an invaluable asset that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to us. It's like you know, our life is in a way a bundle of minutes. You know, and if we imagine if somebody had a, 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 you know, a million pounds, and you know he or she was squandering away, you know, giving a hundred pound here, three hundred pound here, five hundred pound here. What will happen eventually? He or she will run out of that money, and it's same with time. And actually, everything else in the world can be bought back. But time is something, even if you gave trillions and trillions of pounds to someone and said, just can you bring back one second of my life, they will not be able to bring you back one second of your life. So imagine, you know, if you're spending time in just entertainment, if you're spending time in gossip, if you're spending time on social media, and, and we literally just go through others' others' feeds and, you know, we, we spend time on social media, perhaps perhaps three hours a day. We are so addicted that we might spend five or six hours a day or playing games, you know, video games or other things. We are squandering our time. Our time, we are spending our time and that's something that will bring us regret on the day of judgment. And even in this world, you can't, you can't gain anything by wasting that time. If you invest that time in doing something that's, that's constructive, then you will, uh, you will reap the benefit. Now, I'm not here saying that we shouldn't, we shouldn't do any entertainment. I'm not here saying that we shouldn't play any sports. I'm not here that, saying that you shouldn't spend uh, any time just relaxing and, and winding down. But what I'm trying to say is that we need to bring some proportionality in, in what we do because it's extremely important. Now, the Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions to us, he says the, the successful believers are, uh, Allah mentions their qualities and their characteristics. And one of those qualities and characteristics is that that they will turn away when it comes to gossip. They, they just don't, they say, oh, we haven't got time for this. And in another place, Allah says, Whenever they come across love things, whenever they come across things that then don't, don't um, affect them, don't relate to them, then they do not spend time in that. The Prophet of Allah says that one of the, Characteristics, min husn al Islam al Mari tarkuhu ma la yani. The beauty of a believer, the beauty of the faith is that you leave that which does not concern you. You know, and what do we do? Sometimes we spend literally hours and hours talking about things that don't really affect us. If we really spend a portion of that time, either in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or even doing something, you know, like whether it might be homework, it might be learning a new language, it might be learning a new skill, all of that will come to benefit us. So please, you know, just reflect on this. What's the most important thing that we have in our life? And that is our life, the bundle of minutes that we have, we should be extra careful what we do with our time. You know, in one of the uh, um, predecessors, the pious person, uh, Hassan Basri, he says to people that actually there was, he saw the companions, they were more vigilant, they were more protective of their time than we are of our wealth. You know, how protective we are. If we lose 10 pounds, we're so worried about it, we're so upset about it, but if we lose 10 minutes, we don't really appreciate it. So this is how we need to value time. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wala asr, by time, inna al-insana la fi khusr. In, uh, uh, whole of humanity is in loss, except those who, are, uh, who believe in Allah and His Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who do good deeds, and also they enjoy patience and they ask people to be firm on the straight path and follow the haqq, follow uh, follow the truth be sober and endure whatever comes their way we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helps us to appreciate what a great asset that he has given to us in the shape of in the form of time